Hey Divas, Terry J coming to you from Dime Store TV. Here we go off the fly again. I want to say hi first and um, hope your day was blessed and beautiful. I started with having a day off. Um, and I, it was for all intents and purposes. And I um, was watching some videos, um, studying some theatrical things and um, really I, I've landed in the um, whole whole arena of drag makeup because there's so much te technique involved and um, to me it's put in a, such a simplistic um, way uh, it's easily understood by me so I was doing some studying and it made me think of this palette. Um, it's the 6 Plus Leopard Print Palette. I hope there goes a cellophane. I picked up off of eBay like two months ago, okay? And I really needed to spend some time with this before I reviewed it. And at first, I wasn't sure how I felt about it. I, I I wanted to really, really have a good impression of this palette before I did a review on it. It was twenty one ninety nine, I believe, with a fifteen ninety nine shipping fee, which brought it to right to over thirty dollars, about thirty five dollars. But what you get inside, first of all. I want to say that the eyeshadows will look very neutral, but they are both warm and cool. And the impression that I get from them immediately is that it's Asian and Korean popularity of shades. This is this it's a sectioned palette like the 120, the 252, uh, but it comes in this leopard cardboard that I'll get to in just a second. This looks like a neutral or autumn palette on first glance. On on further inspection, it is demi matte mostly, um, some satin, but no shimmer okay um this is a contour dream come true okay you get um these eyeshadow shades i think there's 66 but don't quote me i'll annotate at the end if it's different i i don't know i didn't count ahead of time but at first glance this looks like a neutral palette and with some coral shades and some browns and grays and so forth. Um, this is a contour artist palette dream with some Asian pops thrown in, pinks, corals, um, grays, muted pinks, muted beiges, muted um, red uh, as I'm wearing right now, some very muted red. Um, coral colors that are very very hot in in Asia right now so I believe that's where they picked up their selection of these colors I'll hold it a little closer for you the, the colors are coming off um, quite true maybe perhaps a little more orange uh, than they might be in RL but what you're seeing there are the in the orange are the more red toned pinks and uh, they are corally, for sure. Um, they are uh, reddish oranges and, um, yeah, pinky corals, if you will. Um, I would compare these very, very much with Coastal Scents um, or BH or any of those eBay palettes out there. The, the pigmentation goes from okay to very good. Um, and then we come to the second layer which is $30 all by itself. This contour layer was to every skin tone on the planet. Because when you come down to layering powders, 
And all I have on today is BB cream. I have my e.l.f. and my Aholic Aholic blended BB cream that I talked to you about. When it comes down to layering colors, now I know I'm washed out. Um, my lighting still isn't what I want it to be, but it is what it is, and I'm washed out. But when it comes to down to layering and blending contour colors on the face, I am wearing six of these face colors. I'm wearing um, some. Of, I'm wearing the black as a push liner. I have no eyeliner on except for I used a little coal dark coal base at the bottom to catch the powder. I push lined the liner on and um, the pigmentation on the black is is exceptional. It really really is exceptional. The black it's just I'm zoomed in as far as I can but I am not wearing eyeliner. Uh, the brushes well I'll, I'll just keep going with the palette and I'll try to go as, as fast as I can the pigmentation and the beauty and range of these colors is, I mean, if if a, if a designer wanted to put their name on it, this by itself could cost $35. That orangey blush, I mean, when you blend these colors together in different ways, you're going to come up with everything you could possibly, possibly need, all the way to black. Okay, so if you're a dark skinned person, you're going to be able to blend one of those face powders together with a black and contour. I, I don't think there's a person on the planet who couldn't find a contour shade in here. Um, that's my opinion. Now, if someone wants to correct me in my artistry and my level of, of skill at this point, um, I invite you to do so, and um, and I would graciously, humbly accept um, any correction. But um, for me, it's there. Okay, this is going in my kit. Um, I I will use this with sanitation, and if I need to use this on someone else, I know the night before how to sanitize it and put it away, and I know how to keep my brushes sanitized. So. You know, I, of course, I'm going to use it. If I if I need to buy another one, I can buy another one at thirty-five dollars, right? Um, this is a thing of utter sheer beauty. It's all matte. There, nothing shimmers in this whole in this whole palette. Okay, nothing. There's no shimmer. I dabbed two lip colors at random because I didn't know I didn't know I was going to do this review. So you finally get the lip palette. I dabbed two random colors. Um, I believe it was this one which is like a gloss and this one up here which is more like a lipstick and they're coming off mostly red. I can tell you they're not all red. They are orangey. I came out with the most popular pinky orange, Korean pinky orange uh, really imaginable. I mean, just I just dabbed. I didn't care. I wasn't trying to create anything. I wasn't. I was trying to assess the palette. Really, on my day off, I started out to do my manicure. I got my two accent nails done, and <laughs> that's as far as we went with that. My gel fetti that I made. Um, I we got as far as my two accent fingers. And then I moved on to this palette because there is a drag artist that inspired me to have a look at it. I really need to try to keep this video short. Okay, so I'm going to replace acetates later. What I want to tell you, though, is that what I used for brushes um, may really, really um, uh, inspire you as well. It comes with two very very nice rubber sponge tip applicators and angled brushes. Six Plus is known for their brushes all over the YouTube world now, all over the eBay world now and their prices have spiked. They really have. I only own one of the face brushes and it's the angled powder and that's for my mineral uh, powders 
and I figured with a nice angle like that, um, it's a flat top angle uh, face brush. I have two of their seven piece eye sets, um, but I used this brush. I used this with Reckless Abandon, and I loved it, okay? I used a six plus crease brush, and I used a six plus liner brush for all of the, and I used a Eco Tools lip brush. For all of the face work, I used one brush. Now, I am, it's typical for me to have a washcloth in my lap. And when I get done doing something, I mean, it's automatic now before I even, even if I'm going back into the same color, it's on the, on the, on the fit. Your typical terry cloth washcloth. Just brush off your brush. Clean your brush. If you get in the habit of doing that, you never have to worry about muddiness. It's just not going to happen to you, right? Um, the mirror, you know, compared to the mirror I normally use, this mirror it elongates my face more than normal. So I would say the mirror they could have done a little bit better on. But um, the, these two applicators um these are so usable you could do a complete eye look with this i mean uh, seriously and i wouldn't it wouldn't bother me to do an eye look with this except when it came time to do my crease that's where i said oh what do i do and i thought well i'll just show you know my six plus brushes um the only that was the only time i ran into a problem doing my eye look and then um, finally, I used my e.l.f. push liner, which I have found to be a dream. To finding the angle of the eye this way going in, that way going out, pushing black all along here and all underneath, any color you wanted to push. This is my new best buddy. I will be backing this up because I just love this. Or I will be getting a MAC one, um, something. I mean... Um, push lining is for me. It really is. I love liquid liner. I love cream liner, but I love a soft line. A soft. I I just prefer softer lines. And even when I cut my crease, such as I did today, I cut it. I call it a soft cut. I do it with shadow, and I do it. You know, I do it with contour. And I used this brush to go around my socket bone and just cut with shadow and this this is a darling and I paid 50 cents for it okay so I used my base of NYX Jumbo and Cod Cheese that's simple right I mean we can all handle that one um, or any pearl base you want um, that's up to you um, I used the liner brush I did use the liner brush experimentally as well and just to um, see how it felt to put the black powder and it was nice as well um, when I got to the push liner part though I went pretty berserko I thought this is really great I'm a new artist I'm learning a lot of things I had talked to you about layering contours and this set oh, one face brush one dollar fifty face brush did the whole shebang now, I'm telling you, I, I use that washcloth every time I do something. Pick up, start again. Wipe, pick up, start again. Um, that way I know what I'm applying and how much every single time. Okay. Um, nail artists do the same thing. Um, I see a lot of them. They, they apply, wipe, apply, wipe, apply, wipe. And it's just a good habit um, that I, I see myself starting to fall into. Would I repurchase this again for $35? Uh, yeah. And you know what, honeys? If I could only have one palette in my life, it would be this one. Not because it has an eyeshadow palette, a face palette, and a lip palette, but because it has seriously, from an artistic standpoint, it has the best variety to create light and shadow of anything that I own or and may own for a while until I graduate to my Anastasia products um when I get there I get there in the meantime this is the beat all and all 
and it is not flashy. This is if I already have the Metal Mania palette for flashy, okay? And if yeah, if I want to get shiny, I've got Coastal Coastal Scent Hot Pots. I've got about 30 of them um that I purchased over the last uh 8 months or so. So it's not about the eyeshadows. It's about the uh, the uh, the complexity and sh you can get in the shading with them. I thought this was going to be such poor quality makeup that I would surrender it to my face charts, right? So practicing face charts with cheap makeup until I get used to them. Um, well, yeah, I'm going to do face charts with it, but... Um, not because it's crap and you know it's a good way to get rid of crap I think this is amazing and I think that you will think it's amazing too um, if you have questions about this product because it's not been reviewed yet to my knowledge um, I'd be happy to answer anything about it um, that I can I will uh, find the seller for you and link that seller to you and you can decide for yourself if this is a, uh, something that you might need it is the best value on the market if you want contouring for your for your whole face or even body uh, it's in here it's in here and the the lipsticks I mean you could do body art with lipsticks if you if you had to um, there's probably something in here that you could slick on your eyes and it would hold powder if if you had to I don't know I have not tried that but um, this is all in one box um, I couldn't go on a trip for a week without taking this now I, I could I couldn't leave home without it okay um yeah if I left for an overnight this clunky chunky thing would be coming with me so divas I'm done with this I think um I'll put some pictures in with it uh, when I upload it but for tonight um I'm overdone out for a day off it turned out to be a very eventful day god bless you and see you in the next video Mwah.